Hey, welcome back, everybody. It's Shino, and we are back over at the main location. Just checking on a few things while I'm over here. Going to gather up some resources. Let's see. Oxygen, 7.69 parts per million. Heat, 1.3. Uh, biomass is going pretty good. Terraformation score, 11.8, just about. Um, and the terraformation process, of course, is stalled. We're at the max level. What we're going to do this episode, I think it's time we work on our on our butterflies. Now, we are building an area back over that way that we're going to have a biodiverse area. But I want to do the same thing over here. So we're going to put in a butterfly dome right over here in this area, I think. We may even just put it right here on the ground, I think. Yeah. So I want to do that and I want to get some more bees going and uh, we'll pop up here and kind of take a look at what's going on. If we look at our scores, we can see that uh, insects are kind of trailing at 1.74. Plants are doing really good. Uh, we're going to be unlocking all these other butterflies here really quick, um, but the insect part of it is kind of stalled out. So we're going to try to spruce that up just a little bit today, see what we can do on that, okay? So let me get some stuff gathered up and I'll be right back. All righty, look there. I don't think we're gonna get a whole lot out of that one. <laughs> but take pulsar quartz whenever you can get it. Right now I don't have the ability to craft it. So if I can get some pulsar quartz any way I can, I'll take it. How much space I got in my bags. Yeah, I got a few more spaces. So I was out here gathering up. I wanted to get some more uh, algae. Uh, we're going to need that for uh, where we're constructing over at the other area. And uh, we're going to need to get some fertilizers and such anyway. So there we go. Thank you very much for the pulsar quartz. So I thought, well, let's go ahead and do that. And do I have space for, yeah, let's grab some water too while we're here. Just go ahead and have, I know I just emptied out this water thing uh, just a little bit ago, so not expecting to see a whole lot in there. All right, let's get going. So, butterfly dome. I know we're going to need to make some fertilizer, so we're going to need some eggplant, some sulfur for that one. Let's grab that. Let's see, there's one. And we need more eggplant, so let's go down through here really quick. And yet, 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 all we can. That's it. There we go. Let's see what else we're going to need. We're going to need fertilizer T2. So now we need squash and two methane cartridges. All right. And tree bark and two super alloys. We'll grab a tree bark from up here. And two super alloys. Not in here. Actually done pretty good on making super alloys. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. All right, so let's get our first butterfly dome down. And do I have... I don't have a butterfly larva on me. I think... Did I put them in here? Because I found that one fancy schmancy one. Yeah. That one right there. That's the one. Okay, let's get this butterfly dome put out. And we're probably going to have to build a little bit of a platform area out here, but that's okay. I'm thinking we're going to put it right in here. So let's give it a shot. Let's see. Butterfly, it may have to sit up just ever so slightly. Another meteor? Nope, doesn't look like it. Here we go. Hello, butterfly dome. So now we put that in there. Look. Oh, I ain't going to lie. That's actually kind of fun. What it looks like from out here. I want to see. Oh, that's pretty good. I like it. Okay. So it gives us the butterfly dome done. Now we need, we're going to do a couple more of the beehives. So let's get some more of those done. And we're going to need to get some more larvas going, aren't we? 
So let's take a look and see what we're gonna need for larva. And then, so a common mutagen and fertilizer. We're gonna need mutagen and fertilizers for all this. Okay, let me get some of that together and I'll be back. Okay, got everything I need. And I had another butterfly recipe pop open, but we kind of want to get bees as well. Is there something? Yeah, B is the uncommon variant. Rare for that one. Rare, uncommon. Okay, so let's go with uncommons. That's what we need. Uh, common, common, uncommon. We have three uncommon, two rare. Five common. Okay. We might have to go out and see if we can find some more. Let's go ahead and correct these in. We'll do that. Fertilizer and a mutagen. We'll hit research. Okay. Let me let that run for a while. I want to look to see if I can find any more wormies laying around. I think there's a couple. No, nope, those are rocks. All right, let me look around, and I'm going to keep doing this. And when I get what I need, I will be back. Hey, we got another bee larva. Sweet, that's what we needed. All right, one for one. I did find two more. So let's go ahead and drop off these two. See if we can get a silkworm. There we go. And while that's going, what do we need for the beehive? Super owly fertilizer and a bioplastic nugget. Oh. Let's see about, I think fertilizer, I've got fertilizer on me, but I'm gonna use those, so. Basically need a sulfur and an eggplant, okay. There's a fertilizer and super alloy and a bioplastic nugget. Oh, I don't have a bioplastic nugget. I have mushrooms. And I have super alloy, right? I think I'll need a couple of those. All right, let's do this. Bioplastic nugget. And that only leaves nothing. We got it all. All right, let's go put this thing out here. We'll put it in just right in the same area here. Oh yeah. So now I am kind of curious. Let's go look and see what our score is doing now. At least as far as insects go. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's what we needed right there. All right, let's go see if we got a silkworm. Nope, got another bee. No worries. Okay, so we need another fertilizer. Uh, actually, we need, let's go uncommon, fertilizer, and the mutagen. Get that one going. All right. I'll be back. So, in case you don't recall where this is, this is, uh, this is the little area we have set up. Uh, if I go up on top of this hill, we can look back that way. There is the Stargate. Uh, there was like a little area down here that uh, I think uh, uh, Iklus was in at one point. Uh, but we had found uh, down inside this little valley over here, if I recall, a cave. Yep, there it is. And it is full of uranium. So let's see if we can put in a tier two miner in this area. And some of these areas will not allow you to mine in them. So this may be one of them. Oh, nope, right there. There we go. Now, let's see, are we getting uranium? Yes, perfect, okay. So I'm going to let that run and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and collect up all the uranium I can in here and uh, get it back over to the hoose. And then I'll be back. All right, well, that makes me feel a little better. It's not a whole lot, but, you know, it's a decent amount. 
Uh, but we'll let that thing run. We should be able to get quite a bit out of there, I hope. Let's go up and see if we've got anything else up here. Oh, I didn't plant another one because I don't have anything else, do I? So I've got one mutagen left. So let's get that put back downstairs. You go there. And algae goes over here. Looks like I need to spend some time collecting more algae. Okay, now I would like to go over... We have an area that is collecting super alloys for us right now. So let's run over and check it out. See if we found anything good out of that one. All right, here we go. Let's see. Where are you at? There you are. And we're going to take everything out of here. Not bad. Not bad. Five, six, seven. Okay. I can deal with that. Not going to complain the least about that. Now, I did notice one thing. I want to check. Do we have new terrain back this way? I'm not in a really good position to go exploring, but I do kind of want to look because it seems like it's a little different looking this way. Okay, so this is all the same here. And I'm not seeing any resources down here. So maybe, maybe not. That's one telltale sign of if you've got a new biome area, seeing the resources on the ground. I'm just not seeing anything through here. But it seemed like this terrain was looked different to me. Yeah, I don't see anything down in here. Let's check up along this way, though. Now, I am in a position where I don't have any oxygen with me, do I? So, I know I've got a little area right back over here. Let's see if I can burn my way over to it. I think it's going to be close. Oh, no. I'm not going to make it. Come on, it's right there. Oh, that stinks. Die and drop part of your inventory. I was right there by it. Uh, let's go and get our stuff. Let's see, I'll just go up this way. Hey, we were close. I was close. All right, I'll be back. All right, I want to do one more thing, at least in this episode. I've got a tree seed here, and I want to go ahead and get it to, uh, put out into a tree grower also. Now, I've got tree spreader T1s working out there right now. I would like to put in a tree spreader T2. Uh, let's go check our energy level. I'm sure we're okay on energy, but, you know, just to, just to be on the safe side, let's see what our energy level's at. Oh, yeah. 2459 available. Yeah, not a problem. Okay, so what are we going to need for that? We're going to need uh, the zeolite uh, fertilizer T2 bacteria sample. Yeah, that's the only thing we're going to have to get some. Well, let's get, I think there's a zeolite crystal we get right here. Let's grab it. And let's grab our bacteria samples. And then we'll go make that. All right, we've got it. Now, I think... I think we can actually put these tree spreader T2s out and they don't need to be in the water. I think that's the case. So if that is the case, we're going to try... Yeah, let's just go right in here. Let's give it a shot. Let's see. Oh, yeah. And how big of a range is that? That's a pretty good size. Okay. And we're going to drop the tree seed in there. There we go, and that gives us uh, 2.44 on the oxygen and plants at 175 grams per second on the plants.
All right, we'll come back and check status on that. But there we go. That should be our, that's our first T2 tree spreader. Hundred and twenty five oxygen multiplier. Now I saw I was thinking about that, so I went ahead and got another one sequencing. I uh, don't think it'll be done yet now. Uh, but it is uh, going for the Oh no, it's got it. Tree seed? Yeah, it's got it. Oh, let's go put that one in its place. Let's go try this one instead. Because it's 175. I think this was 125 multiplier. Oh. Oh, no, those are kind of cool. Those are kind of cool. Pop you out, pop you in. Well, we may have to make another one. I won't do it right now, but we'll have to get another one made. Because, yeah, I'm definitely wanting to see more, more trees growing around here. And do I spit? Yeah, I'll drop you in there. All right, let's take a look at our score one more time. 13.48. Biomass, we've made a lot of improvement on the biomass. That's starting to move a lot quicker now. Everything else is moving, but it's just, it's moving at, uh, the numbers are so high that it's just not looking like it's moving, but it is. Uh, let's go look here. Oh, that's doing good. So the next butterfly is going to be at 870. Uh, next thing is a silk generator at 800. So I think we were like, wow, we were like way down at the beginning of this one. So that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. We're going to be getting to the silk generator pretty quick, but that's going to do it for this episode. Hey, thanks for spending time with me. A uh, little bit of progress being made back at the home base. We'll get some more done. Uh, let me know what you want to see in this series. I've been thinking about this and, and thinking about doing a speed run competition thing. Maybe setting up some parameters and seeing uh, how quickly we can get to certain stages. Huh? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. Hey, I appreciate you watching me. Thanks for spending time with me. This is Shino. We'll see you next time. Take care.